Let's see where Toby will take us. Way old buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Wow, we've got lots of places. Uh, we've got the Gold River, we got the Desert, we got Hubcap Hill, and a rock mine. Uh, let's visit him from left to right. Rock All mine. All aboard for the old rock mine. Doesn't look like there's anything here. It looks like it's all broken and stuff. Yeah, there's the most wet cap in the world. That does it. That that's that's yeah. All there's nothing. for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flats' very own ghost town. Ooh, ghost town. Sounds pretty cool. <gasps> my calculator. It's my calculator. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. Oh, cool. What the? What in the? Oh, no. Uh-oh. It's locked in a treasure chest. Oh, no. That trunk is locked up. You know, Putt-Putt, if you were smart about this, you would go back in time to before you messed with the time machine and, and prevent this disaster from ever happening. Ugh. I think My I need a star. Locked up in there. I've got to find something I can use to unlock that trunk. I need a star key. Where am I going to find a star key, everyone? I, I don't know. Was there a star key in the rock mine? To the old rock mine. No, there weren't, there weren't no keys here. Let's go to Gold River. Gold River, here we come. Oh my goodness, we have a crazy old prospector. Dad blam, I wonder if... Dang blam, dad blam. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? What's that say? You wouldn't touch old, smelly liver. Well, that's very wise. Now, uh, a nice plate of liver and onions, that'll put oil in your engine. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang, blam it. It's just a bunch of old, rusty keys. I, I need a key. Take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good for nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. I totally need a key. Yes, I think this is it. That's the key that will open up the crate to give us our calculator. Have you been panning this river for very long? Have I been dancing with her sister who's playing a gong? No, can't say as I have. My old wheels can't take that kind of exercise anymore. Hmm. We'll leave the prospector to his business. Uh, desert. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woohoo! Oh, oh, and it looks like we can chase after animals if Ooh, we want. Look at that! Animal tracks! I wonder where they go! Let's follow after the bear tracks. This is sort of a maze puzzle, not not too difficult of a maze, and I believe in one storyline we actually do need to find a particular animal, because that animal has found something we need. I'm gonna find this bear eventually. Either that or I'm not going to find the bear at all. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, it's not Wowie a bear. Zowie, a real mountain lion. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't do anything. It just goes... <laughs> cool. So, uh, you know, that's the maze and we can find the other animals if we want. Looks like it's some sort of lizard and bird. Perhaps. All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. 
Don't you frown when you're ghost and child. Which key should I use? Star. Hmm. It worked! Yeah! Now let's get our calculator. Sounds good. Uh, we still haven't found Pep or the other thing, but uh, it, hang let's... on. We're headed back to Tire Flat Station. Let's see if we can find them by going back to medieval times. Maybe, maybe one of those things is inside the castle. Why is the oil yellow? Isn't oil black? Car oil is black. It is not yellow. Actually, that's kind of orangish yellow, but, but still, still, it's the wrong color. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt-Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. Story time? I want to hear a story. Where's, where's the story? Do I get a cool story? I think this cool story. Oh, oh, it's not here. You're in for a regular treat. Because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world. And that's the truth. So, um, yeah, now we're with Sir Poundalot. What are we doing here? Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Is that a dragon? Yeah, that's a dragon, and we're just going to ignore oh, the nice. dragon in the room. Okay. Cool. So, uh, story time? I was promised story time? Ah, story time. Welcome, you stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. Oh, that sounds like fun. Hmm. Now, which one shall I read first? Hmm, now that's not actually a story, but I like jokes. Please Let's hear begin one. begin as soon as I find an appropriate passage. What is as big as an elephant, but weighs nothing? What is it, King Chariot? An elephant's shadow. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is a good one. Look, I've found a unicorn, said the fairy princess to the king. Oh, said the king, you must take him to the royal zoo. What a splendid idea, said the princess. The next day, the king saw the princess again, and still she had her unicorn. I thought I told you to take that beast to the royal zoo, he said. I did, replied the princess, and today I shall take him to the theater. Putt-putt, <laughs> 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 I'm so happy you joined us for story time. Me too, thanks. I, I was kind of hoping for actual stories. Oh well, uh, this is an interesting look at medieval monarchy. May we hear another, your highness? Why did the court jester throw the glass of water out the window? Hi, good Bob. He wanted to see a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was actually legitimately funny. Just one more, your highness. What did the dirt say to the rain? What, father, what? It said, please stop raining on me, or my name will be mud. <laughs> He seems to be the only one who appreciated that joke. One more, your highness. 
What did the Cinderella Miss wear to the ball? A ball gown? No, she wore glass slippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny.